This CES special of Hack 5 is brought to you by Gazelle, the fastest and easiest way to sell and recycle your gadgets. For Hack 5, I'm Jen Cutter here at CES 2011. We are here at the Aiken Labs booth to show off some motion technology here with Chris Aiken. Chris, tell us what's going on. Well, uh, we're here at the CES, uh, our first time at CES, and we're introducing our new motion product called Immersive Motion, which is a radio-based uh, motion sensing and capture platform that can be used virtually on any platform that accepts USB. So we have a receiver that can connect to any platform that will accept a USB mouse, keyboard, or joystick. And then we have some remote radio sensors, little small packs that have uh, 3D, 6 degree of freedom motion sensing in them. You have up to eight of those attached to a receiver, and you can use those any way you want. So, for example, you might put one on your hand and say, Radio 1 is now my mouse. I might take another one and put on a headband, strap it to my head, and say, Radio 2 is my joystick. Put another one in my uh, on a glove on my other hand and say, This is my gesture radio, and I can uh, record gestures and send keyboard uh, keystrokes out the keyboard port to be able to interface really to any software that you already own. So this works right now on the PC, the Mac, Linux, and also on the PS3. Okay. It works on the, how does this work on the PS3? Well, basically, if the PS3 allows you to use the traditional USB devices in a game. So this plugs in and emulates those devices, so it doesn't know that there's not a USB keyboard or a USB mouse or a USB joystick. So you can add this motion capacity even to a PS3. Okay. Okay. So there's no cameras. It's all radio. What's the distance on it? Because with the Kinect, you have to be pretty far back. The the radios have a range of about 150 feet. Actually, line of sight, we can go about 300 feet. But if you're in a home, you can go even up to 150 feet with walls and those kind of occlusions. And the thing that really makes this different is that since it's not optical based, you don't have to worry about moving your furniture in the living room. You don't have to worry about the lighting. You don't have to worry about someone walking in front of you while you're playing because the radios really don't care about that. So we have some really interesting advantages there. The other th reason we stayed with radio is we want we have a mobile edition that we're in, we'll be introducing later in the year at the E3 that allows you to pair these to mobile phones. So you can take it purely portable, go outside, and have motion sensing anywhere, okay? Now, with the radio, is this going to interfere with any, say, portable phones? Uh, normally, no. I mean, the, the, all the phones, the phones, uh, Bluetooth, those kind of things, all share the same band, okay? But the way radio technology works is you use small packets, and you send those small packets very, very fast. So if you do lose a packet, there's no real problem with that because you're going to recover instantly. We get 30 times per second every sensor is updated to the mobile phone or to the receiver on the host, okay? Very cool. Now, I saw that, you, so you can save up to, what, 24 shortcuts of, like, your motion gestures to do your, your shortcuts or particular yeah, things? Basically, we don't really set a hard limit on how many gestures you can have, but most people, if you're going to play an app, use an application or a game, you're probably only going to have 8 to 16 or so gestures because you'll never keep track of them yourself, okay? But technically, if you were really wanted to uh, really look strange and wanted to text with this, you could do a gesture for every character and really go to town in the airport. So that could be All right. And that was what I was wondering about. So is this available now? It's, it's not available for purchase now. We will be, it will be available in second quarter. We're in our final prototyping stages and we'll be in production in second quarter. So, you know, you can look for this uh, sometime late, mid to late second quarter being available on our website first and then hopefully in the distribution. All right. Thank you very much. For more CES 2011 coverage, head to revision3.com slash CES. Gazelle accepts more than 300,000 products from over 20 different electronics categories. Got your eye on one of the new products over here at CES? Gazelle can get you money for your old gear when you upgrade. Shipping is free on all items of value, and in most cases, they'll even send you a box to ship with. Also, for you green folks out there, Gazelle makes all of their recycling partners adhere to some strict policies. There's no exports, no landfill policies, and tons and tons of data security standards. Whether you're upgrading to a new iPhone, a new Android device, or other tech gear, Gazelle is a great way to get cash to upgrade to the latest tech.